Hello folks, Scott Grove here. I'm going to teach you a little something. I'm actually going to whip out my willy. That's right, I'm going to whip my willy out right here, right on YouTube. <laughs> um, actually, I had um, somebody write me something just today. Uh, they had purchased my Willie Nelson DVD, where it teaches all of us a bunch of the songs anyway, not all of them by any stretch of imagination. But he was just more than willing to have paid the price to learn the Willie walk up and walk down, uh, despite any other offerings on the entire video. So I'm going to give that away, and it's so easy to do. Um, I personally, and this is personally, okay, this is not fact or, or anything else, it's just my opinion. I tell a lot of people I will state when things are fact and when they are opinion. Okay, this here is actually a fact that it's my opinion. <laughs> I think Willie Nelson is easily as influential on guitar and in music as the people on the other side of the fence, being Hendrix and uh, Page and Clapton and all these guys. Um, so Willie for me was a major inspiration. Um, uh, outlaw in every bit of the word um, just doesn't stand for anything that anything else stands for. He, he stands for Willie. You know, and just what a cool guy. He, his guitar playing is un believable. Um, if anybody out there is just too shallow, you know, in the rock and roll community, put it this way, all the real rock guys respect the hell out of Willie. Um, if you're too much of a douche to actually go listen to some real Willie live, even if it's on um, uh, YouTube, man, you are messing out because this is some major 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 guitar playing and uh, everybody just tends to dismiss him until they learn what you know he really has going on there the old beat the heck martin uh ran through that old standell amplifier and just it works <laughs> but it's willy uh the guy plays guitar exactly like he sings live um Nothing is on the beat. N never does he play a single note on beat. Never does he sing on beat. Does he sing in key, usually? Uh, there's a little joke around. It's like, okay, folks, uh, I'm going to do a little Willie Nelson for you right now. Time to stick your finger in your nose and pick along with this. Sing like Willie. On the road again. Yeah. Um, I don't know, horrible impersonation, but... The little lick I'm going to teach you today, or a couple little licks, or just the standard ones, and uh, just like I said, the guy said he would have gladly paid just for that, but I'm just going to give it away because it's so easy, but it's so effective if you can pull it off right. And I, I whip this out in the middle of Metallica songs. I whip it out in the middle of um, uh, Hank Sr. songs. They don't matter. You know, but it's fun to put in there and everybody knows where it came from. Because nobody else in their right mind or wrong mind, and Willie's always in a purple haze state of mind, so there's your Hendrix reference. Uh, just smoke some dope and play some guitar and um, comes out like it comes out. Willie is always forced to uh, sing on pitch or they take, you know, 300 takes of a song. Um, not on pitch, but on... Um, tempo uh, when it comes to the studio stuff, but then when it's live, the song could be ten times as fast or ten times as slow as it was originally recorded from night to night because he just don't care. It's his song, he'll do it the way he wants, and it might he might put it in seven, eight time when it was in um, three, four time the night before and four, four time the night before. It doesn't, the guy is brilliant, but Let's get past the brilliance and all that. I just had to share five minutes worth of the talking so everybody can sit there, shut up and play. You know, you can get all that out of your system. Anyway, down to the important part, right down here to where my willy is. <laughs> Stop looking at my willy, you freaks of nature. Okay, I'm basically going to use like an um, angel flying too close to the ground. If you don't know this song, get out more. 
holy cow, people, quit, quit staying in one genre of music. You know, there's so much to be learned out there. Okay, the um, licks I'm talking about are chromatic licks on the walk downs. <laughs> And the infamous walk from E up to A, but of course you do this in a key, but just a You know, this thing. Okay, now in context, um, I'm going to do a very poor job of some singing here at whatever time this is. But in context, it's like... If you would not have fallen Then I would not have found you Angel flying too close To the ground up your broken wings Hung around a while Trying to keep her spirits up And you fever down things that make Willie so much fun. I'm glad he's still around. I have been selling a gazillion Willie Nelson videos lately all of a sudden and I've been telling the wife I hope it's not some kind of premonition that it says time. Um, it'd be too sad to lose somebody that cool. Anyway, so let's show you these licks um, and you can probably see already right what's going on but it is the feeling that goes behind this and his Solos are played quite a bit like that. Nothing is on key, even though the bass player would be going. That's going. Willie does not care who's doing what underneath him, even though he's totally aware of what's going on and has a huge understanding of jazz and blues and everything can blow anybody out of the water any day of the week on guitar. Uh, you just haven't watched him enough to know that he is that good. Um, but the little signature lick like that, that's what I'm trying to bring you today. Yeah, ten minutes later, nine minutes later into it, I'm going to finally get to it. Okay, so we're in the key of A. And then I went to C sharp minor. This is not, no part of it. And then D. Back to A, then to D. Then from this E. To the A, back to E, that has to do the walk up to the A. Now there is an art to this other than just the notes. Okay, that lick is always the same. When he's doing a walk up, it is the low E string in its simplistic form. Then first fret. F, then F sharp, second fret. Skip the G or the third fret, go right to the fourth fret. Then finally up to the fifth fret, or just go back to A. So it's just the E, then one fret up, then the next fret up, skip a fret. So you're going half a step flat of your next chord. So A flat, then back to A. Okay, the trick is to actually put the conviction behind it. You can't just go That does not fly, kids. That People will lynch you 
down in Texas for that. <laughs> they will, any willy lover will lynch you, period, if you play it that way. Um, how do you play it? You listen to willy and you play it. Or you listen to me because I am so amazingly influenced by him and I might play it different 3,000 times, so does Willie. It's whatever hits you, but it is. It has to be all over the place, staggered, but with pure intention and just the right amount of vibrato. Every note. So it's played on a classical guitar, but how much does that have to do with it? A bit, but for the uh, average listener and average player, this kind of thing is fine. Okay, so you have to get that mindset, or lack of mindset, that blow a big doobie and become a genius and play the thing. How hard is that? Uh, first part of it's pretty easy. Becoming a genius. Willie is a flippant genius. Um, really, sit down and listen to. Go find a live concert on YouTube. Watch the whole thing. Your jaw will drop. Um, for all you people who have not experienced Willie Nelson live, um, go check out Whiskey River live. Any version. I don't care. He don't. He don't disappoint ever. Um, or Georgia on my mind. Listen to that boy play. Holy cow! Uh, you guys will throw your guitar down and never want to play again. I don't care what kind of music you're into. This guy is one of those guys that makes you think, holy crap, why haven't I, not, I, ha why haven't I listened to him in the past 60 years? He is that amazing. Okay, again, back to this. I, sorry for all the praises to Willie, but then again, I'm not. Um, so here we go with the basic walk up from E to A. <laughs> Okay, so it's basically how many times? One, two, three, four. There are generally four times that the, each note is actually played. Um, every now and then it, it will deviate. It's just a matter of how willy you willy you nilly you care to go. want to sneak it right into there but when you get to that final note back to the A keep it straight that is a signature thing that one never gets any vibrato so you're in E it stays straight because that is the key you're in for the time then F everywhere F sharp everywhere that one everywhere but then when you go to A you're straight again Okay, from D, walking down to the B major, it is chromatic down. Okay, so the D is straight, and then you go D flat. One, two, three, four, da, 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 da. When you get back to the B, you're straight again. You don't no more vibrato. So. Um, this is um, very well studied by me that the root notes or the when you get to the chord and start on the chord if you're in D that note is and as soon as you deviate and start doing your walks whether it be up or down vibrato the heck of them but you have to respect the D chord and stay there without vibrato then you can do whatever you want when you get to the B, you play it straight again. No more vibrato. You respect the chord. It's kind of like over in India. You respect the cow. You don't mess with that tradition. Same with Willie. You respect the chord that you actually get to. Anything in between is a free-for-all cluster mess. Okay? So, going down, it's always going down to the, um, in this case, you are at the... Oh, where are we at? <laughs> oh, six, five, four. Um, you're up to the actual, just the two, two chord. 
So you're walking down from the uh, four chord down to the two, from the D, because the song's an A. So you're going to D, your four chord, and you're just walking down to your two, so you hit it chromatically down, which means every fret. Love's the greatest healing that I have found. Respect the chord. Once you get there, play it straight. Okay? So that is basically it. And yes, I'm making a 20 minute video out of that because it is crucial to um, American music and to Willie Nelson. And again, it doesn't matter what your key you're in. If you're in, um, I don't care, the key of uh, D, same thing. Now let's get it, out of, get it out of a regular key. Let's go from C. And then you go to the G. Okay, so again, you're just going to the G, walking up to the C. So you go to the five chord, respect the low G. Then one fret up, wobble it, four notes. Next one, and then skip out and go right to the one fret flat of the next chord and then right back to your C and then respect it okay so that's it and if you're in the F and you're coming down respect that F and you're going to D minor or D major I guess generally four notes per um, walk-up note. But it's just a matter of attitude. If you can copy what I'm doing, can I teach you that? It is unteachable other than me to, other than you try to copy what I'm doing. Because Willie will do it different every time, but that is the hybrid way that I generally will do it because it's just like what I said, it's a hybrid. It's all of his different ways put together into one way that I always do it, and that's the most recognizable Willie Lick in the world. Okay, so back to A, and then the E. Okay, so um, Willie sings and plays guitar just like that. He'll sing. Uh -huh. um, then he'll get so leave me if you need to then he'll just play it's wherever he wants to go you know? let's go to the C sharp minor Um, it's the way the guy plays. So, once again, Scott Grove just wanting to whip out my willy. Um, <laughs> just so I could say that more than anything, actually. And because it actually touched the guy enough to, he was happy to pay the 10 bucks or for the DVD or the $4 for the download, whatever he did, um, doesn't matter. But just to share that with one other person out there who gives a flying rat, but that they can now play that and kind of have an idea of what is going on is cool. If nobody else gets it, that's too much dang light. Holy cow, I'm tired of having these things in my face all the time. Hey, that's better, holy cow. You're like, yeah. 
Um, but it's just such a cool lick. It's iconic. Um, country players are going to love it. You rock players need to study Willie just to have your um, horizons broadened a little bit. It's not good to stick with one kind of music and just rot there. Get influences from people who are great. Don't just copy them, you know, but get influenced by them is fine. Um, people keep yelling at me saying they didn't like a uh, particular thing I mentioned on a video a while back about becoming a clone of somebody else. They don't understand that I'm just talking about don't go off and become a Willie Nelson impersonator unless that's the only kind of life you have. Um, yeah, study people's music, learn their stuff. Um, but in reference to that old video that everybody keeps bringing up, and it's still on here, so go check it out. Um, I'm just saying learn from people, but don't try to become an impersonator. And that's all you know is Willie Nelson songs inside out, backward and forward, and you be, you know, you're just waiting for Willie to die so you can wear his costume. It's just like Kiss putting other people in the same makeup. You know, it's it's not gonna be the same kids. Um, just something about it. So always be you, but get influenced by other people. Sure, but don't be a clone. Okay? So that's all I'm getting around to. I'm not saying not to be influenced by people. Um, God, there's some great people to be influenced by, but don't let it just be one person. Um, get a whole melting pot. Just study. Don't study. Just listen to it. Be influenced by it. You don't have to even learn it. Just be influenced in some way by greatness. Willie is great. Other people are great. Let them be great. You get inspired by their greatness and move on. Become you. If you have to be in a cover band, then you have to learn their songs. Sure, that, no big deal. I didn't mean anything else by the other thing. So, anyway, I'll shut up about that. But anyway, there's your free little Willie tutorial. And again, I could have wrapped this up and done the whole video in a matter of probably uh, 45 seconds. But you know me, I'm going to take 25 minutes if I can to uh, toss that out there and just yak. So, and that's exactly what I did. So, hope you did or didn't enjoy that. And, uh, <laughs> but, you know, just... Check Willie out before he die before Willie checks out. Okay, um, it might be tomorrow. But he might die before I post this video. Hope not. But God, he's one of the last few greats that I grew up that I was influenced by actually. And again, I just hope one person enjoys learning that little thing and a little bit of the insight, the stories, the crap I like to talk about. You know, it's just stories. It's fun. It's just hanging out with Scott, you know, for whatever that's worth. So, anyway, be groovy, and um, that be that. Play play till your willy falls off, all right? <laughs> Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.